This legendary Leica lens is selling for almost $4,000 right now on eBay. So let's test it and see if spending this much on the lens is a good idea. This version of the lens was made in the 90s in Germany and it's still today the world's smallest professional f1.4 lens. The lens is now selling on eBay for around $3,000 and the cheapest options are around $1,800, so it's a really rare lens. Before everyone starts to freak out in the comments, no, I didn't buy this lens because I don't have the money. But when a French fan of my channel asked me if I wanted to test out his lens, I said yes, of course I want. And it's the first Leica lens I ever reviewed or even used, so, so I had to try. Stop down, the lens has a great color edition. Everything is on the same level, so there is not a color popping out more than another. When stopped down, the lens is perfectly sharp and it captures perfectly some really, really small details. Used wide open, well, it's another story. Leica fanboys might call this the Leica Glow. For me, it's soft images. And also some huge chromatic aberration will appear. The skin will look great, but it's because of the softness of the image. And that's not great for getting the eyes in focus. The background doesn't really melt away wide open. And in portraits, it can distract from the subject. For the low light testing, we went under a bridge and you can see that wide open, the lens can create a really interesting mood. And it's maybe the best use for the 1.4 aperture. The close-up abilities of the lens are not great, but using a macro stretcher adapter, I hacked the lens into becoming a kinda macro lens, getting really close to my subject. My main problem with this lens is the way the focusing ring is placed. It's very hard to use the lens in a natural way with your fingers. And it's the same for the aperture ring. You have to first find the protubering part of the ring and then turn it in the right direction. So I missed my focus a lot of time. Would I recommend to spend almost $4,000 on this lens? Well, no. I think it's an okay lens. But to be honest, I worked with $20 vintage lenses that were better than this and more enjoyable to use. I think the Leica name is what makes the price. Of course, I'm not saying Leica made some shitty products, but with that money, you could buy a really, really good camera. And at the end of the day, what really matters is the beauty of the image you make and not the brand on the lens you used. Do you think Leica lenses are really better than everything else 
or do you think they are just okay lenses with a really great marketing? Tell me what you think in the comments below. So don't forget to subscribe to get my next reviews and visit the Weird Lens Museum right now for free. Check my weird experiments on my Instagram. See you next time.